name's Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is what theory describes the motion of the planets. So the motions of the planets were studied by several people, Galileo, Kepler, and the main thing to focus here is orbits, since the planets follow the path of an orbit. Now Kepler came up with three laws of planetary motion, and these are Kepler's These are Kepler's laws. The first one is that, despite the fact that most people think that uh, orbits are circular, but they're actually elliptical. So planets orbit the sun in ellipses, and in the ellipse there are two focal points, foci 1 and foci 2. And at foci 1 we have the sun, and the other one is just focal 2. And then the distance from foci 1 to the end is the semi-major axis, and that is denoted by the letter A. Now, the second law is called the equal area law. Now, because of the ellipses, it looks like sometimes the planet covers less path than on one end than the other. When we're closest to the sun, we speed up so it looks like we cover a lot more area. When we're further from the sun, we go a little slower. So it looks like we cover a lot less area. Now the truth is, if this, if this is the same time, if T1 is the same as the time as T2, then this area, area 1, is equal to area 2. So that means that if they have the same time frame, they sweep through the exact same area. And that's the equal area law. And then the third law is the orbital period. And that means that the orbital period of a planet square is always proportional to the semi-major axis of the planet cubed. And those are the three laws of planetary motion. And these are Kepler's laws, which are the basic for all planetary motion. My name is Eileen Pires, and this is what theory describes best planetary motion. Mm -hmm.